Welcome to the Brian Five or Six podcast, uh, hosted by yours truly, Brian Five or Six. Yeah, I'm cousin Gary, and this is Jeremy. And since the last podcast, uh, well, we've been doing, doing it, a- huh? You're not talking. No. Yeah, we're just gonna roll with it. Uh, since the last podcast, the Senators are uh, two and one, a uh, great record. Uh, we were hoping for a three and zero. Oh. Um, I think we did great tonight against the Philadelphia Flyers. Uh, we had like 50 shots and they had like five. Um, and we lost, uh, five to five to four. Okay. But- shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up, Gary. You didn't even introduce Sharon. I'm sorry. Sharon. I gave you the, I gave you the reins. You didn't give me shit. You just I gave you the reins. There. I said, "Oh, you're ready for the introduce the podcast." You eh? didn't. You didn't give me the reins. You just sat there, and I panicked. I let you do it because I thought you were growing as a human being, and obviously you have regressed because you forgot to introduce Sharon. And Sorry, it's Sharon. bullshit what the senators did tonight, and I I don't want to talk about it. So let's talk about something else tonight. I think it's a Sens podcast, though. No, tonight it's something different. Tonight, it's all of our... Ho- I want to talk about our hopes and our dreams. I hope Mike Tyson wins tomorrow. Or against Jake Or Pauly. tonight, or depending on whenever you watch okay, this podcast. Okay, this is a Sens podcast, you idiot. What are you talking oh, about? God. Come off of it. Sorry, guys. I, I'm Just get. let me get a minute here. Let me have one sip of beer. All right, let's be calm. Yeah. Let's be calm about this. Yeah. Ottawa. Hey, last I? episode, you said these next three games are do or die, and we pulled off two big wins. We dominated. You said we have to go two for three. And the third game, we dominated. <laughs> why am I so mad? Luck then? was just not on our side. Why, is there, why am I so mad? Here's what I Because will, you expect perfection, and that's not the world we live in. What I'm going to give for context here is we are minutes after the overtime loss to the Flyers. So that's kind of where we're at overtime, right now. Yep. It's a bit fresh, kind of like this wound. Because I'm a little angry because we dominated that game defensively and offensively. And we let in fucking, what, five goals on what, 13, 14 fucking shots? That's bullshit. We should have recorded after the Leafs game. We would have been happy. We and been guess happy. what? Guess what? I would have got you guys... Seasons passes to Canada's Wonderland. I'm because I was in that good of a mood. I'm still happy considering <laughs> all that happened. What is going episode. on here? So what is on your neck? Obviously, it's still oh. under investigation. Yeah, that um, man, that crazy man, cut. Gary. Yeah, we're still trying to figure it out. Tony's on the case. Uh, he's hot, he's got a few hot leads. Is Tony here again? Where is he? I watched the. Why tape is he back. under the bed? What's he doing under the bed? I That's our day bed. Well, I think he's. <laughs> He's working. Why are you under the bed, Tony? He's working. Let him work. Those what? are my chips. Where so, do you get those chips? Tony and his uh, in his department. That's my kid's Halloween chips, you fucking asshole. Have Tony. been reviewing the tapes from the last Did episode. Did you know this? And we can't, they cannot for the life of them figure out who uh, slit my throat. Yeah, some crazy man in a mask came in and cut you when I, when I was at the bathroom. Yeah, so. Um, we should have brought you to the hospital. Yeah. You're I okay. It Tony, barely... Tony said, I, I, I recommend you go to the hospital. I know you guys thought it was a mood point. You're like, you know, we could really just have a couple of beers and sit back. and. Uh, it didn't even cut the apple. It's just leaking a bit. It's just leaking a bit. Okay. It's been a week. It's a little fresh, but I'm, I'm, I feel good. You're okay. 14 stitches, not a big fucking yeah, deal. I'm feeling pretty good. On each side of the neck. I'm really happy to be here. I'm really happy to be with everyone. I'm really happy to just still shut be up. here. Let's talk about Allmark. Actually, wait a minute. Sorry, Sharon. I'm. I apologize. You haven't even got to say a word yet. Just how's your day been? Great, thanks. Okay. And like, um, you got you got like everything that we gave you for the timeline, like, right for tonight's podcast. You're all yeah. prepared, right? Yeah. Okay. Prepared. Music, everything. Perfect. Yeah. Great. Uh, oh, that's awesome. Okay. Yeah. So uh, I just want to talk about Allmark. He is coming off a shutout against the Toronto Maple Leafs. Great game. And then also played well versus his Boston Bruins former. Yeah. So, is it his fault tonight, or is it was it just the chances so great against? I think this loss is a hundred percent on him. Big time, big time. 
Fr- I think he feels Jeremy, that way too. Smart. You're a I, smart hockey man. I think Allmark feels that way. He was very frustrated at the end of the yeah, he made a great point. Um Gary. Easy. First fucking smart thing he said all fucking week season. Yeah, well. He's got great bets too. He's got great bets. I think Allmark was really frustrated. I have to, don't finger it's wet. Uh, yeah. There's a gaping gaping <sighs> hole right there and Just it's wet. Leave it alone. <laughs> so what are you trying to say? You're trying to defend all Mark right now. I'm not trying to defend him. I'm just Why saying. Why are you guys so positive all the time? We just had one of our worst fucking losses of ever. It was tough. The boys look good tonight again. Oh, my God. God, that's cool. Oh, my God. You see what I did there? Yeah. Oh, my yeah. God. God, that's I saw cool. what you did because his name's God, that. And it's, so you could say God, and then you just add the et. That was a nice yeah. goal. And then it's God, at. The team looked good. But... Hallmark. There's why? Why is this happening? So we are a set. What is? What's the record? Seven, six, and one. Seven, six, and one. Or seven, seven, seven. seven no, it's eight, seven, and one. Eight, seven, and one. Yeah. Whatever. It does. We're fucking. Should have been nine and seven. The way that we're playing right now, we look like a legit playoff team. Yeah. Like a good playoff team, and we're still not consistent for some fucking reason. Yeah. I don't get it. And every other game is some fucking new problem. Tonight is goaltending. Win three fucking games in a row, and then maybe I'll give you four dollars <laughs> with my with my thoughts. You know what I'm saying? So let's yeah. rewind it a bit. So since the last pod, we did uh, have that OT winner versus Boston. Yep, beauty. team looked good. Yep, Mark looked good. Who scored in overtime against Boston? Who scored that? Was it Brady? Brady scored that. Okay, yeah, he did. Yeah, that was uh, all Mark huge save right before. You're that right. Too. You're right. So yeah. That's right. Look, yeah. Look great. And then uh, came right back against. Uh, that enough. <laughs> the Leafs. Three nothing. Uh, both sides. Goaltending was amazing. Yeah. Forwards were great. Defense Three games in a row where our defense has been lights defense out. Defense has been Yet unreal. We lost tonight. Like, it's fucking stupid. And I am the loss of word. Sharon, did you get that toilet paper I asked you to get at Costco that was on sale? <laughs> Yeah. Okay, good. I'm just making sure you're awake. Because <laughs> it was on sale. Five bucks off Charmaine. <laughs> oh, my God. Not only that, Bounty uh, paper towel on sale at Costco as well. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I didn't mean to trip your no, no, sense no. point. That's fine. Um, just a lot of different papers on sale right now. Mm. Soft and hard. Um, okay, so so what did we talk about now? We're you just a meddling piece of shit team that looks good on paper? Looks good on video and looks good on the ice. Let's talk about the positive notes. No, Clevin. I think I think he wrapped it up. All right, so yeah. should we? S- I think Clevin. Let's down? just call it. That's it. We're done. Yeah, I think we should call it for the fucking year for this podcast because I'm sick of every. I'm just. God, I just want to talk about life right now. I'm in a bad place. Okay. <laughs> Don't touch me. So some great points uh, or some positive notes. You didn't want to I talk about say. my bad place. No, some positive notes. Clevin is looking great. Clevin looks good. Yeah, you couldn't stop couldn't stop talking about Clevin today. Yeah, I want to tell you, Clevin doesn't. The thing is, you don't notice Clevin, and that's a, probably a good thing. Yep, Shabbat's on fire lately. I find Shabbat's Shabbat is playing great like with Jensen. He used to play. Yeah, Jensen only looks positive hot. things. We're just saying positive things. Yet our record doesn't reflect. Pinto, po- Pinto looking good, looking strong Pinto. on the puck. Tim Stutzel's another top 10 level player in the league. Right? He's another Unreal. level right now. Real. Brady Kachuk is scoring nine. He's got nine goals already. He's getting 12 shots a game. He's unreal. Yeah. Yet we're still talking about a team that may be on the outside of the fucking playoff bubble. And it just doesn't make no fucking sense. Okay. Do you remember that time when was it fucking Steve Urkel from the Family Matters went on to uh, New Kids on the Bl- uh, Full House? Oh, Didn't yeah. he? Did he make appearance on Full House? Yeah. And yeah, I remember being like, what the fuck? Cross that doesn't make sense. Yeah. That doesn't make sense. It was a crossover episode. Why would they uh, uh, invite Steve Urkel over to their house when they know that they have young daughters? <laughs> like, what was the whole point of that? What was the theme song of that? Which one? Full House or Family, Family Matters? Matters? Which Whatever one? happened to Sense of Spit Sensibility, Milkman, the Paper Boy, even on watching TV. <laughs> uh, that was pretty good. Everywhere you go. <laughs> Everywhere there's a place for somebody who needs Is that Full you. House? Someone stop him. I think that's Full House. I think you just trans- that's full transitioned house. right over to Full House. But like, that's, what I'm saying is that the, uh, the sense really season good. doesn't make sense. Okay? Just like yeah. how Steve Urkel showed yeah. up on Full House. <laughs> that is the weirdest analogy. 
Maybe. It just popped in my head. Yeah. yeah. Great show. Great show. Uh, how about uh, Jeremy's best bets? I want to hear some best bets coming up. Yeah. Yeah. So let's do it. Uh, Hit the music. It's okay. It's okay. It's all right. We're not mad. You mad? We'll stop asking. We're not even mad. We'll stop asking. I'm not mad. Are you mad? I'm sorry. Mad? I'm just happy to be here. Hey, you, know, you do a lot of work behind the scenes, right? <laughs> <laughs> not even mad. Um, we're gonna. Uh, you know what? I'm still gonna continue this because we're doing a couple recordings in one week already. We already talked about the least money line. Yep. Sure did. Sends one. So he- your bets one. Yeah. Yep. So if they're following you religiously, they're rich right now. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And then um, again, I'm just going to reiterate just for this one: Carolina Hurricanes game on Saturday, under six and a half goals. Mm. So if this is out matchup? before there, yeah, under six and a half goals. Okay. I don't know if they're going to uh, bring out Allmark again. I don't know if they're going to give him a little redemption game. Are they going to throw on Forsberg? No, mm. you got to put Allmark back out because it's just going to send a bad message. He's got to let him battle through it, right? Huh? He had, two, he had two beauty games. You got to put him back out. There. I think you got to put him yeah. back out. He's your $8.6 million goalie. Yeah. Redemption. And it's the Hurricanes. It's not an easy game. Not an easy game. Hmm. No, no games are easy in the NHL, is what all coaches say. What are your bets for the yeah. uh, boxing match? What are your match? bets for the Boston match? Iron Mike Tyson. Iron Mike Tyson. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know what? I don't. Uh, is this going to be released by? Probably not. It's Maybe be released after. Yeah. But Will this be released by tomorrow night's Mike Tyson. Film? It'll just it'll sure. solidify your um, betting IQ. Apparently, Ooh. I do nothing though. So no, yeah. I said you do a lot behind the scenes. You're just not prepared on the scene. <laughs> Are you prepared? You just come in with your pigtails, <laughs> <laughs> um, looking all cute. <laughs> Whoa, Jeez. looking all sexy. <laughs> I'm uh bra. I, I think uh <laughs> maybe don't wear a bra what? next time. <laughs> it's gonna be uh Jake Paul that wins, unfortunately. Is yeah, that in the contract? A, is that in the contract? Well, we th- we were talking earlier that we think the fight's fixed. Yeah, it could be. Can you bet and on it, if Tyson knocks him out, Tyson might not get paid. Can you can you bet on fixed fights? Uh legally, no. That'd be like betting against Rocky and betting for Mr. T. Mm. Remember in that movie theater work? Well, the election's fixed, and people bet on that. You can't say that. You don't know that. We, we haven't even... Did we talk about Trump winning? We shouldn't talk about it. Let's not talk about it. Yeah, who cares? It's not our country. No, we don't talk politics. <laughs> we don't talk politics on here. No. Unless we're talking about Brian Mulroney. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He, he knows what he did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So did Waffle say, gate. Did you say your bets? Yeah, so we I, did uh, under six and a half goals. I have a weird thing that I want to bring up with mm-hmm. your bets. I've been hot. You've been hot, and you've been right yeah. many yeah. times. And um, it's physically impossible to be right all that, that many times. Uh, w- have you seen the movie Back to the Future Part 2, where he goes into the future and he finds the sports almanac that has all the results of all the different sports, and then he goes back to the time, back into the past? Mm-hmm. Why would... Back to the future. Uh, so, and then he's betting. He knows all the scores of the games, and he makes a lot of money because he knows the scores of the game. Do you know anyone in the Immaculate Constellation program <laughs> that might have some <laughs> back engineering technology? What we're technology? trying to say is, ha- are you, have you traveled to the future? And be honest. I just get uh, texts from uh, no, Sun's no, prospects. No. Oh. Mm. What do you does. think, Sharon? Do you think he's... Uh, Invented a time machine and gone to the future because he's always right with his bets. It's possible, right? Yeah, I think he just pointed the finger at uh, Sense Prospects. He might have. Oh, so Sense Prospects is Michael J. Fox, is what you're saying? He's yeah. uh, he's the Michael yeah. J. Fox. He's yeah. Rain Man when it comes to. Uh, he's short like him, right? He's a little bit taller. Mm. He's like a taller Rain Man. Mm. Yeah. So. So you bring him and he just kind of silent. He's like, definitely, definitely. Sends prospects, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> definitely Carter Yakumchek. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. It's like, how many goals has Carter Yakumchek scored in his youth? I'm talking about when he was a PB. It's like, definitely 400, 900, 700 goals. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, pretty we're gonna, much. We're going to have to cut that. Um, definitely. But here's the thing I think if we went uh, back 
not back to the future, but back to the past. Yes. I don't think there's a lot we could do to change anything besides know some like what the sends are going to do. Right. And then you could bet on it and win millions of dollars and become the and become Jeff Bezos. Like would we tell would we tell uh who is the GM at the time? Was it Brian Murray? Would we be like don't, Brian Murray? Don't put Rick in Dudley. Don't put in Patrick Aline versus Leafs. Marshall yeah. Johnson. Don't let Alfredson leave for that one year. Yeah. Don't call him drunk. Oh, we can't talk about that. Who? Mm. What? Hmm? Talk about who? <laughs> 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 Nothing. There's there's a few things we would change. We would say don't let Chris Phillips skate behind the net with the puck in the Stanley Cup Finals yes. mm. with Ray Emery. Correct. Mm. Don't let Dominic Casa go to the Olympics. Yeah. Right. Don't let... Uh, we could actually change a lot. We could change a ton. Sens would have had at least five cups with us. Yeah, in don't draft a dead guy in your very first inaugural draft. <laughs> <laughs> that Wait, actually happened. What? They did that. Yeah. Really? In the expansion draft in 1991 or Accidentally? 92. They're, they're like, like, yeah, he's dead. And they're like, oh. oops, we'll we'll take that back with us and we'll we'll talk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, they drafted a dead guy. <laughs> they're like, we don't have to pay him, right? They're like, oh, whoa. They're like, uh, we draft oh. with our fourth overall pick, Jimmy Hoffa. <laughs> oh my <laughs> get god. It he's dead. Yeah, get it. Uh uh Robert F. Kennedy. Yeah. Because he, he, he died too. Yeah. He died in Dallas. Something to think about. You've been watching a lot of uh, JFK assassination videos just over and over, eh? No. Oh, you haven't? Okay. Trying no, to figure it out. But let's talk about the Sens. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. Sens podcast. You're, you're so. totally right, Sharon. It's just a lot. It was a lot's been coming up after this loss. Yeah, I, I just know. like that was tough. It's hard to talk about it because I'm so upset right now. And you know what I'm like when I get upset after yeah, Sands losses. Yeah, but they won two out of the last three. They did win two. Again, if we recorded on a different day, you know what? That Things might change, but I don't know. Maybe let's just get to player profile. Sure. Yeah. We'll I once won $1,000, and that was another, not a day that was today. And I was happy that day, but I'm not happy today. Mm. I'm just All I'm saying is that sometimes good things happen to you, and then bad things follow. We did get a point tonight. Mm. Always look on the bright side of life. So this is actually a uh, upcoming movie um, coming out this winter. Uh, I'd like to present it to our uh, viewers. Okay. Just bear with me here. Dark clouds gather over an intense storm, stormy sea. A man stands alone, his face partially obscured by shadows. His voice echoes in a thick accent. He was born into a world of secrets. Training as a child, he sparred blindfolded, decoded cryptic messages, mastered his puck handling skills, raised by shadows, trained by the best, and given a single mission, a mission he never expected. His mission is in Ottawa, Canada, tasked to turn its NHL franchise around. The fate of more than a team rests on his shoulders. The stakes high, the odds impossible. The target, a city on the brink of disaster. <laughs> With the skills of a spy and the spirit of a fighter, he'll give this team something they've ever had. Hope. This winter, courage knows no bounds. Where's and victory music? has no borders. Where's the music? Ice Cold Redemption. Coming soon, starring Timmy Stutzla. Okay, that wow. was all about Tim Stutzla? It was all about Tim Stutzla. That made no... I, you lost me in the second sentence. Tim Stutzla uh, was actually born into the deep state in Germany for the BN, uh, BND. What? What's the, the BND? The Binder, uh, the Binder Doschlerstein. Uh, it's the CIA of Germany. He can't and he that. was actually sent over to uh, North America what? to compete in an NHL franchise and save the Ottawa Senators. Hmm. That's the whole plot? That's the whole plot of the movie. And what about uh, James Bond? Is he there? He's not there. He's not real. Oh, okay. It's not, that's... It, that's fiction. What about this Ram is a real story. What about Rambo? Is he there? Equally, Sharon, equally fiction. Well, we're uh, happy to have you in Ottawa. Yeah. Oh, okay. That Timmy was really Sousa? bad. we got to keep an eye out for him, though. Speaking of movies, do you ever see the movie Dirty Dancing, Sharon? Remember the part where um, uh, she runs up to him and he lifts her? I thought it was pretty good. Yeah, it was not bad. Where do you get, where do you get the core <laughs> strength to do that? 
<laughs> to lift a person up like that. Um. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so, <laughs> do you okay? Oh, yeah. a, uh, just a big gusher just came out. Ah, yeah. oh, that's gross. Just leave it alone. Hey, you're getting all over my microphone. The blood. Just leave it alone. That's disgusting. What is that? Oh, that's your zin. Disgusting little man. Guys, I do have a. See, Baker Mayfield had that. Do you think actually uh, Drake Batherson had it uh, when he was in the uh, press box? Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, Upper Decker. I am. Um, I have an idea. I'm going to call the president of the Ottawa Senators and just to let him know what I think of that game. No, don't. Do no, that. I'm doing it. No, nope. totally doing it. What's I wouldn't wrong? do that. Are you supposed to do that? Huh? What? Yeah, I'm allowed to do that. Just hopefully he answers. <coughs> Who's the president again? Cyril? Cyril. I'm calling Cyril, and I'm going to let him know what I think of... Did you just ask me who you were calling? <laughs> <laughs> no, I knew I was calling the president, but... It just says president of the sense. <laughs> he's just staring at his red phone. Just just a, it's embarrassing. He's not answering. I'm really embarrassed. Call him again. Call him right back. <sighs> Sorry, guys. I, maybe I was calling Domino's. <laughs> what? <laughs> Oh, because I had it on uh, speed dial. Domino's, because you know why? They Be don't answer? Listen, Domino's makes a really good thin crust pizza. <laughs> and I'm not talking tomato sauce. I'm talking Alfredo. They do actually make a good. Right? Yeah. With ch with uh, pork chicken. chicken. And, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm on it, honestly. Okay, we got the Carolina Hurricanes next. We are at 500 team. Just I over. Eight, if you count the seven. overtime loss, we're a 500 team. Oh, yeah. It's just not good enough. It's what I expected. But the problem, Honestly. the weird thing is, like, I don't know how to feel because we are playing good enough. We are playing. This might be the best the Senators have played since, like, I'm not even joking, since 2006 when we had that dominant team that went to the cup final. They do. Yeah, they do look good. Um, against the Leafs, the bottom six just absolutely dominated. I don't know what the Leafs. We have a great team. And for some reason. What's Ryan Reeves do? Nothing. He dances. Hmm. He's a fucking dancer. Like, I'm serious. He dances on his off. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm just hungry. You're hungry. Mm -hmm. Just got a little treat. I eating? haven't eaten much this week. It's what? been a liquid diet lately. What is he eating? Because of my neck. I don't know. Just a little Oreo stole from your cupboard. He's an Oreo cookie. Yeah. Those are my kids' Oreo cookies. Those are my kids' former oh, kids' lunches. Geez. Okay. So, guys, um, I think we've spoken enough about the Sands. I just want to know what, you, what your guys' plans are for the weekend. Sharon, what do you got going on this weekend? This is a Sands podcast. You guys need to But people want to know about, about our lives, don't they? No. No, I oh, don't they think don't. they care. They don't care? I don't care. <laughs> I care about you guys. Do we have viewer questions? Yeah, we do. Damn it. But every time, <laughs> it's just the questions are like, what's your favorite roast beef sandwich? And I'm like, roast beef sandwich? And they're like, thought so. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. All right, just let me open up. Okay. So I do have a few questions. You're just in a are somber you, mood, eh? Are you on Blue Sky or is this still on I heard X? about this Blue Sky and I haven't been on. Are you on it? Yeah. I, yeah? Yeah. Is it as good as uh, X or Twitter? It's just, it's, it's not as good because you don't have a lot of the engagement that you would on x but mm. um they eliminate a lot of the bots and there's significantly less porn mm. so that's why so we I, stay I on won't x. be joining yeah. <laughs> that's why you always stay on x so i won't mm. be joining is there a lot of mm. like head exploding head uh, i get a lot of those on x there's a lot uh, yeah that's what i mean anything that's that seems illegal yeah. on x um they don't have that right. over there. i'll be like it's just my timeline is like oh look at this brady kachuk goal Oh, look at this movie that did really well to box us. Oh, look at this guy get his leg chopped off with a machete. Yeah. That's how my timeline goes. Yeah. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't make sense. They know your algorithm. Anyways, yeah. uh, okay. <clears throat> First question absurd. is by... Can you shut up? Yep. First question <laughs> is by Brody at Brodog9. Mm. He asks, why does something bad happen at the end of every show? For example, there is chaos, 
Somebody dies, somebody gets shot, a fire happens, and then everybody's just screaming. Oh, they're talking about our pod. Our podcast. I oh. think it's just bad luck. We've yeah. had we've had some bad luck. Um, yeah, I don't think it's orchestrated or on purpose because that would be yeah, that would be too nice. We got <laughs> we got lawyers involved. That would be too been, nice. The cops have been here a few times. Like it's just bad luck. We started a pod. We got the equipment, and for some reason, there's been a lot of bloodshed, and I'm not really sure why. Yeah, it was weird when a guy came in with a uh, a knife and just slit your throat. But that was so weird. Like I, I'm yeah. sorry for letting leaving the door. It was so unlocked. traumatic. I don't remember much of the. The podcast. dog didn't even bark. My, my brain just blanked it out. Yeah, I real I feel bad about that. And I know Tammy called and she said, "I hope he doesn't get hurt again." And I said, "Well, I'm glad she called." <laughs> she called. She called us. She said, "I haven't talked to him in years." And. Yeah. Uh, and uh, but I heard he got hurt, and I just don't want him to get hurt again. And I was like, she "Can't still promise did, that, Tammy." She's still there in Florida. No, no, she's with Carlos in uh, Spain. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, next <laughs> next question is uh, n- by a man named Nick at Athlec Thoughts. Can you set Gary on fire? Okay. See, see what I'm talking about? Yes, I can set Gary on fire, but not. That's not. That's not productive. That's not a sense. Question. So that would be with our pod. That would once again be a coincidence if that did happen. Yeah, if he got caught on fire, it's not my episode. fault that a, f- a lighter and some gasoline got poured on him, and then a lighter lit him. Um, okay, next question is by C B I N C at C I N B. Is that the C-I-N-C Canadian C-42. National Institute for the Blind? I don't know, but he's got like a, a Pink Floyd logo on mm-hmm. him. He says, "Are you afraid of flying?" No. How would he know that about you? How would he know that? I'm not afraid of flying. That's actually kind of creepy that he knows that. Yeah, that's wild. Well, we maybe, did we did have another podcast called Now You Got It. Maybe he's and we did oh, speak maybe. about it. So maybe, maybe he's right. a maybe he's a listener of both podcasts. What a nice fan. Yeah. Thank you, C B I N C. Are you afraid of flying? Look in the camera and tell everyone you're afraid of flying. No, I'm not afraid of flying. It's just that I've never uh, flown been, uh, brave enough to go on a plane. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> Well, also, I've all I've never been able to afford a flight. I've put all my money into Sonos speakers, <laughs> sixty-five inch OLED TVs, to this pod. PlayStation Five, two Xbox. No, ones. what you should do is just a couple hundred bucks, porter to Toronto and porter back, and What's the don't point leave of the airport. I'm not afraid of flying, okay? Just for the experience and the thrill. I'm gonna go to Armprior one time, guys. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you. A carp airport by just wave down a plane trying to take off. You're like, <laughs> just wave. Mind. Do you mind? Do you, uh, oh, is there, is there such thing as airplane hitchhikers? Could an airplane be like flying and they see a guy just with his thumb up like this? Yeah. And they're like, pick him up. He actually doesn't want to come. He's just. Yeah. <laughs> It'd be funny if there was like a parachuter. Trying to prove to his friends he like yeah. wants to go. Yeah, yeah. parachuters. Yeah. You need to get somewhere. That's what you're yeah. doing. Okay. Uh, <laughs> next question is by Vinny at Vin Leafs. Oh, he looks like he's a Leaf fan. Oh, boy. All right. He says, when will Stutzla stop diving? Tim Stutzla doesn't dive, does he? Nope. He never started. What so. is diving anyways? You can't stop if he doesn't start. Yeah, you can't stop if you don't start. You don't start if you can't stop. <laughs> yeah. If you're not going to stop, you don't start it. He's just got Bambi legs. Like Bambi on No, the it's ice. just because he's so fast and guys are all over him and they think, they just, they're jealous. Oh, he's talking mm-hmm. about the ice. I thought, okay. What do you think? What? Do I, what? what swim, are you talking about? German swim team. Was that not part of the player profile? You no, know, he doesn't mean he, swim diving. He means diving like as be tending to fall. Italian soccer He's a player. triathlete through and through. What are you talking about? A triathlete? Are you talking about that he's got like... Stutzla? His uh, thing is as big as his leg? Like a tripod? <laughs> is that what you're saying? No. I'm saying it doesn't matter if it's ground, air, or water. Oh, he he threes. excels in all domains. Comes in all threes. Gotcha. He excels in all, all domains. Right, we got one more question. Um, let's see. Sean McNevin at Sean at McNevin seventy nine. I didn't. Not Sean. His name's Sean, but his username's not Sean. It's McNevin seventy. Anyways, maybe that's his last name. We should ask him. Maybe mm. Sean's his last name and McNevin's his first name. Mm. Uh, if you could choose one player in the NHL as a rental as a rental this upcoming trade deadline to skate with Stutzla, bracket he needs a speedy winner to play with and skate with. Who would it be and why? Love Giroux, Kachuk, and Batson, but they are turtles compared to Timmy. <laughs> it's 
See, this is a real question. Yeah, and I was talking about this earlier. Trey, like, if we are a legit playoff team... Um, sorry. Sorry, I just peed a bit in my pants. <laughs> uh, if we are a legit playoff team... Let's say, let's say come March, we are well into the... We have clinched a playoff spot. We will be finally trading for, like, a rental player, not giving up our good players. Mm. So who in the NHL right now... Think about teams that are not going to be in the playoffs. Who would be a good pickup? I think if they can grab, like, Nathan McKinnon... Uh, <laughs> Max he's one Patri- of the best players in the NHL. Max Pacioretty? No! He's in Toronto. So? And he's always hurt. He's hurt again. Probably going to be a cheap pickup. Are you dumb? Are you fucking dumb? Do you nope. even watch hockey? Yeah, I watch hockey. No, you're dumb. <laughs> Max Pacioretty. No wonder Tammy left you. Take it to the... Jeez. Yeah, that that cuts deep. She left you because you can't provide for Deeper her. Deeper than the cut on my neck. Because you're spending all your money on... Uh, you're Don't spending all it. your money Don't on those Macintosh caramels. <laughs> Macintosh caramels. You're like, I love how hard they are, you said. on your, And it takes a while to gum them. Yeah, I don't want to talk about it. Yeah, it's tough to know Max who's going to be available because all the teams still think they're competing and stuff, right? You're looking at, you're going to assume, like, the Chicago Blackhawks okay, are so who be I'm, good. I would like a Nick Felino. That'd be sick. Again? Yeah. Well, we brought back Gaudet again. How many players have the Senators brought back for a second term? Comrie. Mike Comrie. I think, like, Connor Brown would come back. Connor Brown's not even playing in the NHL this year. <laughs> Didn't he get waived? Well, maybe he'll come back. Is that with the Oilers? No. He got waived, I think. Oh. He's lost it. He's lost his touch. Um, I, yeah. F- like, Felino still throws the body around. I don't, like, what he's about? still playing, I think, on the top, top six. Yeah. In right Chicago? Now. Yeah. But I mean that Chicago. He'd be in the top bottom four here. Um I have bottom one name. Six. I have one name. And I don't know if he's healthy or not, but Logan Couture. And the San Jose yeah. Sharks. He's from mm. Ottawa. Okay. Mm. Or well, I don't know if he's from Ottawa, but he played for the sixty sevens. Yeah. He is older. San Jose Sharks are in a rebuilding phase. Wouldn't he be a good fourth line center? Imagine he's our fourth line center. Could we give up for him? Are you serious right now? You give up with like a third round pick, you idiot. <laughs> what are you gonna give up? Oh, le- oh, let's give him Brady Kachuk. <laughs> no, no, you no, that's not what I'm <laughs> no, saying. No, that's at what all. you insinuated. No, that's not what I insinuated. Why did you at say all. it then? I was saying, like, do we give up a McEwen? Do we give up a couple of picks in <laughs> San Jose Sharks are rebuilding, they're gonna take a veteran fighter? <laughs> Anybody. Read it in Cyclopedia. I'm just, thinking, I'm just thinking about who they give up that's on their lineup right now. <laughs> what? <laughs> you're a playoff team and you're giving up current roster players at the deadline? For a Logan <laughs> No, you give up futures, you idiot. This is how the NHL works. You know what I did see is uh, that Kyle Dubas was saying that uh, he's going to make some Penguins. Uh, yeah, so would you available. get Evgeny Malkin? What about Carlson? I think Carlson's uh, a hot ticket right now. No one wants, like, <laughs> Penguins are not happy with him. People are thinking he's not playing well. Sure, bring Eric Carlson back to Ottawa. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? Bruce Garriock himself said that, like, years ago, that that would never happen. And you listen to and Bruce. You, you trust Bruce, don't you? Of course I trust Bruce. With has anyone, little, has he ever been wrong? With his it's little a bow tie. New regime here, though, so you don't know. Has Bruce Garriock ever been wrong? <laughs> no, he hasn't. You know, be insane. I wonder if um, Crosby wants to finish off his career. Or if he wants to get one more cup. Imagine if Crosby came to Ottawa. That'd be sick. You would have to give up a lot for Crosby, though. You'd given up like two first round picks, your best prospects, so Carter Yakumchuk. No. Oh, for mm, sure. No way. For sure. For Sidney Crosby? No. Yes. If you're going into the playoffs, yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, I guess Felino fetched a first rounder when the yes, so you're giving up at least two first rounders and like Carter Yakumchuk, and maybe some mustard. (laughs) Throw a little mustard in there. I'm gonna offer them Anton Forsberg. Did you just have a little mini stroke there? Yeah, a little mini stroke. (laughs) Something in my eye. Zizons. A little stroke. Well, anyways. I'm just, I just don't know what to say because we played so well and we lost. Sharon. I'm still famished. Do you have anything that I could eat? I don't want to eat the boys' lunches. 
Do you have any food? Yeah, you ate my my young son's. Uh, he's just he's so little, and he ate his last Oreo. Do you have any food? Okay. I'm a little lightheaded. Bread. Okay, yeah, I don't want him to get lightheaded. Oh, actually, there's some bread right here. There's a little slice of bread here. I don't know. It's toast. I think my son left it down here. Um, it's just no butter or nothing. It's just dry bread. <laughs> don't don't choke on it. <laughs> He's eating some dry bread. It's white though. It's white bread, not whole wheat. Anyways, continue. Where did that come from? The bread. What? Why was oh, it down here? Actually, I think we left that. Oh, that's for the rat. That's the trap. That's for the rat trap. I We've been having rats here. Oh. Oh shit! That's for the rat trap. Is it? Does that mean we put poison in it? The rat poison. I mean, I I put a little bit of poison. Did not, you eat that? You didn't eat that, right? You didn't eat that. Tony. There wasn't a lot of it. Holy oh. fuck! He just ate that. He ate that. We should call poison control. Seriously. Get um, them on the phone. Are you okay? Can someone call Tammy? I, you just ate the most rat poison I've ever Can seen in my someone life. Someone call Tammy. <laughs> that's the most rat. That's like. Is this not gonna help? That was for about fifty rats. There's enough medication in there to put down fifty rats. And I'm talking the big ones. Are you okay? I think I got. I think you I gotta, think I got rid of it all. I washed um, the rest down. If you put your finger down your throat. Yeah, I, I think I put your finger down your throat. I'm not doing that. I got it out. I drink the beer. We're okay. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. It won't kill him, right? I, I, yeah. Can someone just get Tammy Might. on the phone for a quick second? Do you have your phone down here? Uh, should we get, you know what you should call as a priest? To say his <laughs> no, last rites? No, we should probably no. call Poison Control or 911. <laughs> last no. rites. Can you just get Tammy on the phone? Well, Tony? I think you just need to pump his stomach. Tony, can you start the car? Tony, put those fucking chips down. I told you that. <laughs> He's not even listening to you. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. You're good. Just breathe. Breathe it off. So how about the Blue Jays? <laughs> Blue Jays are not playing. <coughs> Holy fuck, that's not good. Are you okay? Holy fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. He's not breathing. What do I do? Uh, CPR. CPR? Okay. Staying alive. Staying alive. <laughs> uh, 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 staying alive. Six breaths in the mouth. No, I'm not doing that. <laughs> He's dead. Piss. <laughs> we'll get him next time. <laughs> <laughs>